um, many times we only get a portion of uh, the passage kay laba uh, sa siningaga gin alaw ko gid nga basahon ang tanan uh, kun wala ka mo ka balo actually isa na kalibro ang inyo gin basa ang napamatian ka gin ano and that is the book of obadiah it's the shortest in the old testament it is so short that it's very hard to find it in the bible napangitaan niyo bala sa bible iyaw ko pangita no especially kung ginaamo mo na ang yung bible iyaw ko pangita no because it's just many in many bibles isa lang siya ka page so it's the shortest book and uh, kabay pa sa sininga aga no even though this book is short we shall hear the message that comes from this book mga muyo kita lord salamat sa uh, book of obadiah it may not be uh, familiar to us uh, even sa ginbasa gino kagina kabay pa nga uh, mahang panamon sa huna-huna kagkabay pa lord nga kami makit anamon no and we will respond in faith to what this uh, book tells us uh, this is my prayer in the book of in the name of jesus amen sige obadiah kaga wala man introduction si obadiah no the vision of obadiah this is what god uh, has given me and this is what god uh, wants me to tell you Ang importante nga in the book of Obadiah, we need to know nga ang iyang uh, gin uh, patuhuyan sang sini nga mensahe, very specific is Edom. Uh, specific. Ka na mi sang Bible no, uh, kun makita na to no in the Old Testament, most of the stories we read, Jewish ya, no, mga Jews yan, mga uh, people of God no, the Israelites. Pero may libro nga napatuhay specifically gentile no? to the gentiles edom and they sila israelites although connected sila uh, we will see that later uh, just like the book of jonah jonah was sent to the ninevites so when the old testament uh, this is helpful para sa aton tanan no? when the old testament gives us no something about the gentiles no a prophet sent by god to the gentiles it actually means a lot. Nagahatag na siya sa atun sang dako nga pag sang New Testament. Because every time you read the epistles, especially the epistles of Paul, dira na nimo makit ano ang misteryo nga sang una hindi klaro in the Old Testament is now been made clear in the New Testament because God is not only the God of the Jews. He is the God of his people and his people include the Gentiles. Ginhatag in ni no sa kay Obadiah paagi no uh, paagi kay Obadiah ginhatag para sa Edom. Ang Edom amon isla mga descendants ni Iso. Kun kilala ninyo si Iso, si Iso amon siya ang utod ni Jacob. Si Jacob kag si Iso amon sila ang kapid nga gagwa pa lang sa kay nanay nila ay naway na. Ngayon mo grabe no. Way pa ka, way pa mga toys, way pa mga halampangan no, mapauna-una pa lang gwa no, inaway na. Kag grabe ang uh, pictures ni sang enmity between these two brothers, no, Jacob and Esau. No, intoon mang intoon siya ni Jacob, amo ni siyang iyang root. So ang mga Edomites, amo na sila no mga descendants ni Esau. Na kun tanaw ni mo sa mapa, which is important, no, this is a uh, nagligad no, gin pagita ko, gin pa imagine ko sa inyo, this is Israel dito sa book ni Amos, the northern kingdom. The southern kingdom is a small kingdom composed only of two tribes and that is Judah. And then sa dalum dalum yan na, the amo na siyang Edom dira. So lapit sila no, lapitay sila kag ang roots nila uh, magutod ang ginhalinan nila. Pero eh, sila ya ang mga katawhan hostile ni sila sa people of God just like sang kainit ni Iso sa iyang nga utod so dira amo nang ilang nga ginhalina no ano ang mensahe sang sining nga libro uh, simple lang gid no ang mga proud will be brought low and the humble will be raised that is what the book is all about ang proud no ang mga mabugalon mabugalon sakto na ang bugalon na lang gali no uh, ma, ma ano no will fall kag ang yadtong mga crushed will be raised nga amo na no kay ang hitabo no uh, sang pagpadala sang ginuo sa kay Obadiah 
is natabu ang pag-atake sang Babylonian Empire sa Juda. Now, kung, uh, just briefly, ang Israel ni siya ginlusob ni siya sa Assyria, no? Amon to nga ginwarn sila through Prophet Amos. Kag uh, dugay pa, no? Kag na-pirdi sila. And then, ang Juda nga gamay, wala sila na ano sa Assyria. Pero, sila man, no? Uh, faithless man sila. You have the book of Jeremiah to tell you that. Uh, the book of Habakkuk, damo, no? Nga libro. Kag ginambalan sila, no? Pero wala sila nag-repent. So, ginubra, no? Babylon naman ni saya no ang nagalusob sa na pirdi ng Assyria Babylon naman tapos na ginransak man ang Juda So pagransak sa Juda grabing itsura no that's why we have the book of lamentation nga grabi ang pagbakho grabi ang paghibi kay grabi ang pagcrush sang katawhan sang Ginoo Now sang na crush sila no sang Babylon ang idom amuni siya ang nagatulok sa ila So nakita niyo ang itsura no initial no naggrabbing tension sa ila and then nagabot ang time nga ginposa sang Babylon ang uh, Juda tapos ang idom amuning nagatulok gatulok sa ila kag uh, ang si Obadiah amuni ang ginpadala sang Ginoo para sa ila tungod sang ila nga tagipusoon nga ah ang Juda gin posa sang Babylon tapos ang ilang hearts were lifted up because sila ya wala sila maano tanawon nyo ang lingwahe no so this morning amo nang aton nga mensahe no ang uh, bugalon will be brought low the proud will be brought low but the crushed or the humble will be raised so ang mensahe sining aga revolves around pride uh, just a very simple outline what is pride from the passage how is this pride expressed kag ikatatlo how will this pride end now ano ang pride sa sininga passage ikaduwa paano ni nila gin express kag ikatatlo how will this end how will pride end kag samtang ginahimo tani kabay pang uh, madumduman kag makita naton nga ang proud gali hindi lang ang imo nga tupad uh, usually ang tikalon ang tupad mo no hindi ikaw do you notice that mas tikalon siya kumpara sa imo kag hindi naton makitaan nga kita gali amo kita sina kabugalon no? tanawon nato no what is pride based on this passage siling sang Ginoo no kay paagi kay Obadiah concerning Edom uh, let me jump to verse 2 behold i will make you small among the nations you Edom nga amen you shall utterly be despised. The pride of your heart has deceived you. Kamu nga naga in the clefts of the rock, in your holy dwelling, nga nagahambal sa inyo nga tagipusuon, who will bring me down? Though you soar aloft like the eagle, though your nest is set among the stars, there I will bring you down. Ano siling ano by the way kung tanawon mo ang uh, idom no may ara sila rason nga ipabugal kay ang ilang uh, lugar gali ini grabe ni sila no ari ni sila sa mga bukid kag do ano ni sila do ga pililit ni sila sa sunod sang bukid ka kung tanawon ni mo do paano mo na siya atakihon man i don't know if you can imagine no mga tagas nga bukid nga do, do bato tapos gas, gasululod na sila sa mga buho da uh, if you can imagine that, amo na siling nito nila, no? You are, who are hiding in the clefts of the rock. Tapos, ara sila sa elevation, no? Puerte ka taas. So, kung tanawunin mo, gatanaw sila sa dalong, tapos, masiling sila? Ma- maano ka mo? Paano ka mo? Paano nyo kami mapirde? So, amo na ang ginahalinan sa ilang pride. So, let me define pride for you from this book. Pride is a strong belief in the security of present status without thoughts about God nor His ways. Pride is a strong belief in the security of present status without thoughts about God nor His ways. That's why makasiling sila, no? The pride of your heart, siling sang gino, paagi kay Obadiah, has despised you 
who live in the clefts of the rock in your lofty dwelling na nagahambal sa inyo tagipusoon who will bring me down kung namuni ang akon ginaistaran diri ako naga nagapuyo hindi ko diya mabahaan kung diri ko nagaistar hindi ka mo di kalambot sa amon so inisya no security pride is a belief in the security of your present status. Hindi lang amo na kay kun ma-end ko da, hindi na siya actually pride. Ay salamat secure ko sa akong present status. Ang problema is secured in the present status without the thoughts without thinking about God nor his ways. So ini siya nga security godless now, may ara kita security, no? Pasalamat ko sa status ko subong because I am in Christ. Pero, ini ang ila, hindi amo na. Tungod sang ila, secure sila sa ilang nga feeling, tungod. Kabalo sila nga sang ilang nga sitwasyon, hindi sila maano. Kung ang Babylon nag-attack, kag na ang Juda, it is because, why, why ilang nga posisyon. Kami, ha, sa amon nga plastar, sa amon nga sitwasyon, hindi kami madutlan diya. Hindi kami maano. So ang ilang nga security ara, no? Ang ilang nga sense of security, they have this belief. This is where pride comes from. Nagapati sila nga hindi sila maano. Ang problema, no, sa amo ni sa amo ni nga status kay hindi nimo makitan nga amo na silingya, no? Pride before destruction. Hindi mo makitan that you are in the path of destruction because of your pride. Hindi mo na siya makitan. That's why siling ni Obadaya, no? Siling niya, if thieves came to you, look at the language here. Uh, by, by the way, gra- grabe ang uh, figure of speech, mandali, no? Though you soar aloft like the eagle, though your nest is set among the stars. Amun, na, na sila ka lofty, no? Hindi na kami malambot din, no? But the Lord is saying, I will bring you down. And here are the people who are saying, who can bring me down? And God is saying, I will bring you down even if you build your nest on the stars. Silingya, no? Uh, ang pride nagabulag sa aton. Sang danger. Tandaan na nato, no? Ang bugal nagabulag sa aton. So, hindi nila makita. Siling ni Obadaya, If plunderers came by night, how have you been destroyed? Would they not steal only enough for themselves? Kung kawatan ka mo, you think ang kawatan ko on lang gamay sa inyo? Actually, ang word yun is pillage. Ubuso niya ganyan. You think kung atakon ka mo sa kawatan, bilinan pa ka mo? Sa tuod lang, hindi. Uh, rhetorical question, no? But siling mong ginapamangkot niya because kabalo siya nga ang sabat, arad sa pamangkot. You think, no? Kamu nga proud. You're thinking, uh, wala sa may matabo sa inyo. Do you think kung kawatan ka, kawatan ka lang gamay? Actually, hindi. Kwa kong gitanan sa imo. Not only that, how Esau has been pillaged, verse 6, his treasure sought out. All your allies have been driven you to your border. Those at peace with you have deceived you. They have prevailed against you. Those who eat your bread have set a trap beneath you. You have no understanding. Ano ang matabu sa bugalot? Ang matabo sa isa ka bugalo, no? mabulag ka, no? bangod ang ginatanaw ni mo, nga secure ka tungod sa imong nga present status. Ay, hindi ko kinanglanon ang ginoo. Basta may amo ko ni, eh, hindi na kuya madutlan. Yeah, so, amo ng ilang uh, pride. Siling, uh, siling sa ginoo, no? paagi sa kay Obadaya, actually ang imo mga ginasaligan. Una, ang ilang ginasaligan, no? ilang uh, posisyon. Ikadwa ang ilang ang mga allies. Ah, kilala ko na iya si Juan. Ah, hindi ko yaman, no? Kay kilala ko na si ano yan. So, ang inyo mga ginasaligan nga nagabulig sa inyo, amun ako lang mabitray sa inyo. And you don't have any understanding. So, ang, pra, ang proud nga tao, hindi niya makit, ano, that he is on the path of destruction, kag-abi niya, no, ang iya ginasaligan. Ang akon nga status, ang akon mga kilala, hindi ko yaman, ano. Why siya kabalo, no? You don't have understanding. In fact, ang mga tao nga nagabulig sa imo, nga abi mo makabulig sa imo, amo man na silang mabitray sa imo. And not only that, no? This loss of understanding, no? Is actually an act of God. Will I not on that day? By the way, natabo na ang paglusob sang Babylon sa Edom. 
as a, as a Judah, sa Edom, wala pa. But that day will come. That day will come. Although kung talawan mo historically, medyo lawig pa, no? But that day will come. And Obadiah says, On that day, declares the Lord, Will I not on that day destroy the wise men of Edom and understanding out of Mount Esau that your mighty men shall be dismayed? O Timan, Timan is part of Edom. So that every man from Mount Esau will be cut off by slaughter. So ano ang pride? Ang pride amunis siya ang strong belief sa imo nga present status. Secure ka sa imo nga present status without the thought of God or His ways. So mabulag ikaw, hindi ni mo makita that you are on the path of destruction. Hindi ni mo makita kay nagasalig ka sa imong uh, resources, nagasalig ka sa mga tao nga kilala mo, nagasalig ka sila no, nagasalig sila sa ilang mga uh, ally nations. So hindi sila maano, but actually God is saying, I will remove understanding from you. Ikaduwa, how is this pride expressed? Tanaw yung expression sa pride. Eh? Anong ginhimo nila? Sang ginlusob sang Babylon, ang Juda, amuning ila ginhimo. I think I can see four things here. Because of the violence done to your brother Jacob, shame shall cover you and you shall be cut off forever. I think apat ka bagay, no? Verse 11, On that day you stood aloof. On that day that strangers carried off his wealth, Ah, uh, jump ko ana, no? Verse 12. Do not gloat over. Number 1 is stood aloof. Number 2, gloat. Number 3, verse 13. Do not loot his wealth. Loot. Uh, I, I'll explain that in a, in a while. Verse 14. Do not stand at the crossroads to cut off his fugitives. Ano ang ginhi mo sang idom? Sang ginlusob sang Babylon ang Juda. Unagid nga ginimo nila is indifference. They stood aloof. Uh, characteristic ni siya sa pride. Nga kung gakabuhi ka sa pride, you are indifferent to the pain and sufferings of others. Sila man na iya. Luoy sila eh. Luoy sila nag-eskwila pag tanawa sila. Te. Ah... Uh, indifferent no uh, wala hindi ko kinanglanon mag care sa tuod lang no Edom the brother of Jacob amo na silingi diri through Obadiah pero ang ang reaction nila no tungod they are proud they were indifferent they stood aloof at hindi man ay kami di ka luoy sila eh diri lang kami yan no when when your brother o kusang gin attack sang Babylon ang Judah what did you do you just stood aloof indifference Sang nagsulod ang mga foreigners into their gates and cast lots, you were actually like one of them. Indifference to the sufferings of others. Hindi lang indifference. Ano pag ang expression nila, no? Verse 12. Do not gloat. By the way, pag hambalin din nila, do not gloat. Uh, ano ni siya, no? Pag siling niya, do not. Uh, this is uh, satire. A form na siya sang literature, sa literature, no? Satire, magsiling ka satire, hindi, buot silingon, ginambala niya, hindi ka mong magamuna. Sa tuod lang, nahimu na nila. That's why naghahambal si Obadaya nga. Ay, hindi ka magamuna. Dado, amuna siyang tono niya. So, siling niya, do not gloat over the day of your brother. Ano magsiling ka gloat? Inabalang nagakalipay ikaw, nagaburangisi ikaw, sa tungod ang iba naging miserable. No? Do ka uh, do muna sa mga kadlaw sa mga traidor. <laughs> Nan, ano no ko kita yan ba no do amo nang sound no do inabalang do ang mata mo yan do hindi asi linya do kadlaw nga tungod sa joke nga nadu nalipay pa kun dito. <laughs> gloat nagagloat ka. Na inabalang nadasma ang tao. Nan, amo na siya no maggloat ka bala ni Kita mo to tsura yan. Yeah. Atos mo, lahat hindi yung tsura yan. Yeah, no? Nag-gloat ikaw. Ano na siya nga, ang picture sa gloat? Expression na siya sa pride. Kaya nga, ako yan, hindi ko yan matumba mo. So, a- ako yan, a- kaya ko yan nga kadlawan talaga, pero feeling ko yan, hindi ko yan matumba. That is the essence of pride, no? Because I know, I am secure, hindi ko maano. That's why I 
can stand aloof and be indifferent, I can gloat, rejoicing at the misery of others. Grabbing a picture of pride, no? That is the expression. Do not rejoice over the people of Judah in the day of their ruin. Do not boast in the day of distress. Do not gloat over his disaster. Not only that, no? Uh, indifference, gloating. Arapagid, do not loot his wealth in the day of his calamity. Ang expressions ang pride in the book of Obadiah is taking advantage of others. Kita ka muna sa news, yung mga sunugan, bila? Sunog! Pagwa mga gamit. May araman nag-intra, pangwa gamit. Ari damo gamit. No, mangwa mo kuya, aring pagwa nila ilang ang mga TV. No, and then pag, uh, nasunugan ng tao, tapos, no, pangwa, on the two, ang, oh, may tao nga uh, nabunggoan, no, na lipungan sa dalan. Imbis nga buligan mo siya, ako ang mong yakahita, kagya cellphone, kiti ilipong na sa, hindi, hindi mo sa kabatsyag, di ba? Ah, uh, ano no? You, you you add more harm to what has, to what they have done. You're taking advantage, and not only were they taking advantage of the people, nga arap na sa mabudlay nga sitwasyon. Uh, verse 14. Siling no? Do not stand at the crossroads to cut off his fugitives. Do not hand over his survivors in the day of distress. Sanggin attack sila actually ang ang mga Hudiyo, no? mga Jews sa Juda naglalapla ag sila. Ano ang ginhimo nila? Ang iban gin pangdakop nila, kagin panghatag sa Babylon. Ang iban gin slay nila. Ano ang picture? Ano ang expression sang pride? Not only taking advantage of others, pride is actually wanting to harm others more. So the picture of pride in the book of Obadiah is applied to Edom, all of them, until verse 14. So, sulito na ako, no? Nga, ah, gani, ano gani ang basis ng ilang pride? Ang pri proud sila tungod sang security, sang ilang present status, the, even, they, oh, even though they are disregarding God. Paano ni nila gin-express ang ining uh, pride? They were indifferent. They were rejoicing sa misery sang iban. They were taking advantage. They were harming, creating more harm to those who are already suffering. That is the picture and the expression of pride. Ang last niya pamangkot, no? How will pride end? Again, sulito na ako, no? Ang ina nga description, ang ina nga description was description sang idom sa ginhimo nila sa juda sa ilang nga utod now look at verse 15 for the day of the lord is near but this is not edom anymore upon all nations as you have done it shall be done to you your deeds shall return on your own head for as you have drunk on my holy mountain so all the nations shall drink continually. They shall drink and swallow and shall be as though they had never been. This is strange. So, pabalik ko sa inyo liwat, no? Obadiah was the prophet that was sent to Edom. Ang, ang iyang mensahe is to tell Edom, the Lord will do something sa inyo, mga Edomites, or descendants of Esau because of the pride in your heart. And this pride is expressed in many things. And yet, paglambot ni mo sa verse 15, makit ni mo no, nga si Obadiah nagambal, no? On the day of the Lord, the day of the Lord is near upon all nations. Suddenly, it was not just Edom, but the proclamation of judgment is on all nations. At kag inyo ginahimo, no? As you have done, it shall be done to you. And because he is talking about pride, he is not only talking about the pride of Edom. He was talking about the greater pride of the world. That the world is standing condemned before God. 
Because just like Edom, na amoni ang reaction nila, no? they are so proud, amoni reaction nila over their brothers, suddenly Obadiah uses this picture as a picture of the world that is standing so proud before God. That secure kami because wala sang may matabo sa amon because technology is advancing, science is advancing, medicine is advancing, economy is advancing. At some places, maybe uh, we are getting better, we are getting stronger. Ang kulang ta na lang gidya subong swag. Kabalo ko na, kabalo na ko sa word sa school ko lang na nabal ano. Ina bilang magkadto ka sa church ya. Live spring bila ina bilang maglakat mo bila do kuan bila. Nga do makita kay layo pa tiga live spring sa patan mo maglakat bila. Do makilala ka gyud bisan ara ka sa SM no. Nang may may dapat ang may dating ka gyud ya no. This world that's why this book no may be very small but the indictment that comes from this book is very big because it is not only Edom that stands proud before God the world stands proud before God and the word the world is becoming more and more godless do you know why we are becoming more and more godless because we think we can do even more today tuod na that's why nagaka proud kita nagadaku pagit ang pride sa ako ng heart. Sa so, unay ako hindi ko makakadto sa eskwela, hindi ko kaklase. Subong nga bisan ara ka sa CR makaklase ka. Grabe ang abilidad ko no. Sagad sagad nagidya sa ako no bisan naga nagatungod sang damo naton nga mahimo. Grabe no bisan nagasimba ya kabalo ko sang balita parte sa Ukraine. At the same time, nga nagasimba ko. At the same time nga nagasimba ko kabalo ko ko nang diin nagadto si Kwan. Kay makita ko sa Facebook ang mundaling status niya sabong grabe no we feel like technology has given us the power to become omniscient and omnipresent and because we are omniscient and omnipresent we also believe that we are omnipotent kaamo na ko niya amo na ni subong ang gahub sa technology the world is judged by its pride we are standing strong before God saying we can do, we can do better, we can do better, we can do better, we are doing better. And so we are standing so proud. Go to any TV show, mga pa contest, it's always that. And it will always exalt a human being. Nga akin ang lanon, ang ginoo ha? Ano siya kit ko nagligad lang no? Na two, three days ago. I think that's globe. Nga pasayod. I think there is this phone. And then he was so late, I cannot remember the the details. It was the first time I saw that advertisement. Habi ko gina, hello babe. I think something like that. And then these were two men. Nga nagmeet. And then, I don't know if you have seen that advertisement. And then they went out to a concert. And then they, they even kissed. Krabi, no? Krabi, no? And the world is telling us, what's wrong with that? Oh, yes. What's wrong with that? You come to this church, everything is wrong with that. Everything. There is no justification. But yet we justify ourselves. It is not wrong. Why? Because we are so proud. Who? Who? Why would God declare what is good? I can I can tell you what is good. Nga si ang ginoo gyud di mahambal ko nang nayon ako nindi. Ay nindi ya kabalohaw. Oh. Amazing. Ang ginoo lang ya kabalohaw. Kabalo ko ya. Grabe no. Grabe ang dugga sang pride. That's why Obadiah may be a sm very small book telling us about Edom and we may not even know a lot about Edom but in this book we see we sense that there is a day coming when God is not just going to judge Edom during the time it was future but God is going to judge the world that is standing so proud before him it's the entire world however Ano ang ending sang pride? No? How will we break pride? 
Look at verse 17. But in Mount Zion, there shall be those who escape, and it shall be holy. Ah, strange. Nga as strange ni siya. Because Mount Zion, Zion, the, uh, where Jerusalem is set, and they call it Mount Zion, was actually ransacked by the Babylonians. No, ginpusak na siya sa Babylonians. Wala na. There, there's no more Mount Zion here as the as a place of worship. Ginwasak sila sa Babylonians. But Obadiah here is saying, but in Mount Zion there shall be those who escape. May maka is hala. So you know, he is talking about something else. The past nakit ana no sa mga Edomites, the past wasak na sila nakita na namon. But on Mount Zion there will be those who escape. In fact, not only will they escape, it shall be holy, Mount Zion. So there is a future rebuilding of Mount Zion when Obadiah was written. And the house of Jacob shall possess their own possessions. The house of Jacob shall be a fire. The house of Joseph a flame. And the house of Esau, the picture of pride here, stubble. They shall burn them and consume them. Notice, there shall be no survivor for the house of Esau. For the Lord has spoken. Do you see the contrast? Look at the contrast. Verse 17 and the last phrase of verse 18. In verse 17, In Mount Zion shall be those who escape. Sa punta sang verse 18, And there shall be no survivor for the house of Esau. There will come a time. There will come a time when survivors will come from the Mount of Zion. Those who will escape to the holy hill. So he must not be thinking of what happened to Judah. Kay wala na. So it is future looking. There's going to be a building, a rebuilding. But those who are of the house of Esau, there will be no survivor. Mga kauturan, dako-dako ni siya nga mensahe, no? Tungod ang pride is not just an issue nga nagpabugal ka kay bag-ubayo mo. Hindi lang amuna, no? Pride is a statement that in this life, I can live through this and I don't need God. Hindi ko yakin ang lang. Pwede, hindi ko yung mangin successful sa sininga kabuhi nga wala iya ang ginoo. Tagaan, tapaka mo example. Wala iya ginoo, pero successful. Hindi ko yakin ang lano na ginoo. A statement siya, no? Statement na siya, no? Ang pride is a statement. It is a rebellious statement against the God who has created us. Restoration sang Mount Zion, tanawa ang sa punta, no? You will not miss because the word is repeated again and again. And that is the word possess. Look at what happens here. Verse 19. Those of the Negev or Negev or Negev shall possess Mount Esau. Possess. It will be conquered as through a conquest. The house of Shephelah shall possess the land of the Philistines. They shall possess the land of Ephraim and the land of Samaria. And Benjamin shall possess Gilead. The exiles, the exiles of he, this host of the people of Israel shall possess the Canaanites as far as Zarephath. And the exiles of Jerusalem, remember, nakit anilang picture, no? Kung paano gin exile ang Judah, who are in Shepherd shall possess the cities of Negev or Negev. Uh, the ESV notes, nagahatag sa ato, no? Ngayon nga mga places. Actually, it covers north, south. Zarifat is the far north. North, south, east, west. In short, it is a picture telling us that those who actually are on the holy hill, those who survive, those who escape to Mount Zion will possess. What will they possess? Kung dalawin mo, again sa time ni Obadiah, they were actually possessed. They were crushed. But there will come a time when these people will actually possess the land. Do you know may equivalent? This is the New Testament. Jesus says, the meek shall inherit the earth. That is the statement 
drawn straight no from Obadiah it's it, it's pride no I, I I cannot be shaken I'm so proud in this particular status uh, with my resources with the people around me as if I cannot be shaken but Jesus says the meek shall inherit the earth mga kauturan, grabe ni siyang picture no because ang last verse look at last verse paano ni siya matabok saviors shall go up to Zion to rule Mount Ezo. Look at the last line. And the kingdom shall be the Lord's. It's a very beautiful ending. The kingdom shall be the Lord's. The book of Obadiah written sa group of people nga nagtulok sa Judah which they know as the kingdom of the Lord. No, wala naman to. No, no, pusa naman to. And yet in the future, he is saying that they will actually, God's people will actually possess the land. It also brings us to the picture in the time of Joshua when they possess the land. So there's going to be some saviors that will come from Mount Zion and will establish salvation. May natabu wala. May ara. Paano? Nakabalik sila. Bisan pa ang Judah ginkuwa sa Babylon. May gin pabalik ang ginuong nga remnant. May gin gamit siya nga mga katawhan. May gin gamit siya nga Zerubabel. May gin gamit siya nga Shealtiel. May gin gamit siya nga Ezra. May gin gamit siya nga Nehemiah. May gin gamit siya nga para magbalik sila. Did they possess the land again? Yes. But to what extent? It was not a complete possession because they were crushed again and they were crushed again. So that could not be what Obadiah is saying here. So Obadiah was saying, there will be saviors that will come from Mount Zion and the possession of the land is through the saviors. But there is someone else who is going to establish the kingdom of the Lord. So that ang promisa sang ginoo that we will possess the land will come to pass. That the kingdom is the Lord's because this is the king who conquered pride in our hearts through his humble death. May mga tao no, nga nagapamangkot. Nung no, tayo ni pag-abot ni Jesus, ngayon pang wasaagi na lang ito tanan. Tanawon tagida. This is a very strange king because the king in all his splendor, instead of taking so much pride, in fact, when he was hanging on the cross, people were saying, you save others but you cannot save yourself. Kag ang essence why Jesus was not saving himself because he is saving us. And that is what will end our pride. Only through the cross will your pride be crushed. Wala sang may makapusa, sang akun nga pride. I'm a very proud person. Except the cross. Nga aman. Because in the cross, makit animo no? Here is the loftiest, highest king. Yet sa iyang a grandeur, he did not die the way. Kita niyo kung paano ginlubong si. Nalubong na ba siya? Sino nagbisita sa kay queen? She's actually a good queen. Grabe no? Grabe mga tao no? Napila. Ah, Amang ko tunta ka mo sa kay Jesus, may nagpila. Oh, grabe ito lang si Jesus, grabe siya mag-teach mo. Ay, napatay siya. Uh, ano to guro? Atent to guro sa iya. Ano eh. Read the Bible. His best friends ran away. Habi ko, amun na to. Why gali? Why sa kabalok mano sila? And it was the women who visited him. Uh, anong, anong, what's the grandeur there? Where's the grandeur? The resurrection. May mas grand pa na? 
ang ako na savior wala sang may nagpila mahatag bula kay napatay siya we are so proud to do it so proud ginatunaan ko nino and uh, i'm thinking of my own pride why am i so proud I am proud because of the security that I can sense sa akon nga kabuhi, sa mga tao nga kilala ko, apart from God. So I think we can survive because of these things without God. Grabe gali, no? Magkadto ka sa cross, the kingdom shall be the Lord's. There's no other king. Mga kauturan, possessing the land, Let me encourage you. Sa aton diri no nga nagabatsyag tungod may edad na kita maabot gidang tion. Do you know that in the Christian faith redemption includes the physical world when the king comes again. In this aton nga pagpanikasog but the world and we will possess the meek shall inherit the earth. And when you say the meek shall inherit the earth We are not standing here and feeling proud. By the way, hindi na sa Christian man, no? Nga reaction, sige lang, sige lang, paperde-perde lang ka kaysa katapusan eh. Huwag ka mo kabalo. Yatagya sa ako ng Lizares Mansion. Hindi amuna ang, amun, hindi amuna ang dapat nag-grow sa heart natin. We want to tell others that there is a king and when you are proud, you will be crushed. Kabalo ka mo kung anong greatest expression. I wrote it here, no? The greatest ex- expression of pride for anyone is to think that he can be saved apart from what God has determined. Ang pinakagrabe nga pride sa tagipusuon sang tao is to think nga may iban pang alagyan nga maluwas siya. You come to church, we will tell you there's no other way. Unless You surrender your life, you repent, and believe that Jesus is the only person who can save. You will never be saved. Never. Kag ang greatest expression sang pride is that we think there is some other way. That can't be right. The text now tells us, your pride will remove from you that understanding that there's only one way. Siguro mamangkot kita no as we close. Mangkot kita. Ano ang mga bagay nga feeling na ako, no? Nagapasecure sa ako. Pero wala ako ginapaminsar ang ginoo. Maybe ang imong resources. Maybe ang imong abilidad. Maybe ang imong iniskwilahan. Maybe ang imong mga kilala. Wala ako nagahambal nga. I-forsake tanat sila tanan. Ang ginahambal sa aton is kung ang imong pagsalig isay lumo sa ila. That is pride. That is pride. Ang amo na sang kakululbaan. Hindi na siya, you know, pasalamat ko kilala ko si Amoni, pero hindi siya na ang makaluwas sa akin. Pasalamat ko kay uh, may resources ko, at least makabakal ko sa mga amo sini, pero hindi na siya ang makasustain sang kabuhi mo. Pasalamat ko kay healthy ko subong, pero hindi ikaw magpabugal kay hindi kita healthy forever. Huwag mo ko kasi nga dapat na masakit kita, no? Para mangin godly kita. Hindi, no? Pero hindi mo gin maislan ang ginoo, mga kauturan, sang bagay nga imo pagasaligan sa sininga kalibutan. Pasalamat ko kay naga, kay naga uswag ang akon nga negosyo. Praise God! Pero hindi mo na siya pag-ibotang imo. Ay, hindi ko maano tungod sina. So, pride na siya. Grabe ang pride, no? I-crush na gid ka. Pero ka namin, bala? Kung magpalapit ka sa ginoo. You will see your pride, but He will heal you with the humility of Jesus. And the more you look at Jesus, the more you realize that everything I have in this life is blood-bought. It is filtered by the cross. And so I should be thankful for that. Let us confess our pride and let us turn to Jesus. The kingdom shall be the Lord's because the King is King Jesus. Let us pray. Lord, nagapasalamat kami sa uh, Book of Abadaya that we are not familiar, maybe. Lord, nagapasalamat kami kay Gintandugyang Amon Tagipusuon. Ang Amon nga pride, 
nga kadahasig lang Lord sa amon magpabugal kag gina confess ko Lord including myself it is so easy to take pride in what I have what I do what I think I can do kag uh, regardless Lord kung nagpaminsar ko sa imo kung wala makaya ko ni Lord forgive us what we are thinking about will turn to our own heads kag magabalis ka din tanan Lord we lack understanding. Lord, nagapasalamat kami kay wala mo lang kami gitabayan sa amon nga pride but you have opened our hearts that the kingdom is the Lord's and that the King is not us but Jesus. And when we turn to Him, grabe ang promise, someday we will possess the earth. That is amazing, amazing promise for your people. Salamat, Ginoo. May Jesus be lifted up and may Jesus be prime in our hearts so that pride will not be. In His name I pray. Amen.